In this problem, we're given this Venn diagram and it's cats, dogs, and birds, and this is what people prefer. And we need to answer how many people prefer cats but not dogs, so we're doing this part first here. All right, so cats but not dogs. That's everything in the blue circle but not dogs, so I need to exclude everything in the green circle. And that excludes the four and the two. So those are out in the middle. And what's left are six and nine. We add them together and that's 15. And that's our first answer here. That's not erasing, uh, but that first answer is 15. Okay. Next up, part B, how many people preferred both birds and dogs, but not cats? So birds and dogs are red and green. So birds and dogs, what they have in common are these two numbers here, the two and the six, uh, but not cats. So that excludes the two because the two is in the cat circle over here. So once that two is gone, all we have left is six. And we can't erase that either, that's fine. So that would be six. Uh, and how many total people preferred cats? So total people preferring cats, that's everybody in the blue circle right here. Doesn't matter if they like dogs or birds, just total cat lovers or cat preferers. Uh, that's six and four, which is 10, and nine is 19. Two more is 21. So all four numbers in the blue circle add up to 21. Now part D, how many total people were surveyed? So that's everybody, every number in all these circles. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers we have to add together. There's an extra number down here. Don't forget about people who don't care for cats, dogs, or birds. In this survey, there were six of those people. So you have to add all that together. And that's part D. Uh, so that would be that one right there. I'm really bad at addition, but I do have all the answers uncovered here. And that'll be 56 if you add all the numbers together. So hopefully that helps you on this problem.